Hey there! Welcome back to Amazing Physics, where we turn complex concepts into curious adventures. If you're passionate about exploring the unknown, then you're in the right place. Last time, we mapped out the essentials of research outlines. Missed it? No worries, you can catch up right here. Trust me, you'll want to see it before we dive into today's exciting topic. Today, we're diving into one of the key challenges in research. How do you identify the right research problem or topic? Whether you're just beginning or fine-tuning your ideas, getting this step right is essential for a successful research journey. But first, let's get serious and look at how research problems have been and can be successfully identified. Because at the end of the day, research is all about your attitude. Research isn't just a process, it's an attitude. An attitude in orienting yourself toward research. An attitude in selecting your area or topic. An attitude in choosing your guide or being chosen by one. An attitude in doing the work, finishing the work, and even in what you do after completing your PhD. Remember, attitude is altitude. And of course, a little humor helps along the way, for you and for others. So, how has all the great, excellent, or outstanding research been done? Or how can it be done? Now, let me share a fascinating example of how sometimes the greatest discoveries happen by accident. It's the early 1900s, and engineers are hard at work building a train line in western India. To lay the tracks, they need mud. Lots of it. So, they start digging up small hills along the way, not thinking much of it. But here's where it gets interesting. Some of those small hills weren't just ordinary piles of dirt. They were actually ancient mud domes that had been hiding something incredible beneath them. As they dug deeper, what they uncovered were artifacts from one of the most important archaeological discoveries of all time. The Indus Valley Civilization. Sites like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa emerged from the ground, revealing a whole lost world that no one knew existed. This discovery didn't just add a few pages to the history books, it completely rewrote them. It transformed our understanding of world history, archaeology, anthropology, and culture. So, the next time you think something is just a routine task, remember this story. Sometimes, the most extraordinary things happen when we least expect them. Who knows what hidden gems are waiting to be uncovered? Sometimes, failure also leads to groundbreaking discoveries. Around 1903 to 1905, a bridge in Quebec Canada collapsed during a storm. At the time, Lord Raleigh's book on sound was widely available, and it linked sound with structural collapse. This led to the analysis of sound waves and vibrations affecting structures. The concept of eigenvalues and eigenvectors came into play, and in 1908, a Russian engineer named Stephen Timoshenko fundamentally changed civil engineering. His work on structural analysis laid the groundwork for modern civil engineering practices. Timoshenko's contributions have had a massive impact on the field, making him one of the most influential engineers of the 20th century. It's a perfect example of how failures can drive significant advancements in understanding and technology. So, whether through accidents or failures, great discoveries often arise from unexpected sources. The key is to keep exploring and learning from every experience. Sometimes, the path to discovery can be marked by madness. Let me tell you about John Nash, a brilliant mathematician whose journey is as extraordinary as his work. Born on June 13, 1928, Nash began his academic journey with a B.S. and M.S. in mathematics from Carnegie Mellon University in 1948, and then joined Princeton for his Ph.D. His 28-page Ph.D. thesis on non-cooperative games, advised by Lloyd S. Shapley, laid the groundwork for what we now call game theory. Nash's work was revolutionary but his career was interrupted by acute mental illness. In the 1950s, he was declared mentally unstable and spent time in a mental asylum. But Nash's story didn't end there. He was released in the 1970s, declared stable, and returned to academia. He rejoined Princeton University and continued his groundbreaking work. In the 1990s, Nash was awarded the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences for his contributions to game theory. 
His journey from mental illness to Nobel laureate shows how even the most challenging circumstances can lead to incredible achievements. The key is to keep exploring and learning from every experience. Sometimes, boredom can spark innovation. In the 1920s, ports in Northern Europe showed dramatic seasonal changes. During summer, they were overflowing with ships waiting to dock, while in winter, they were almost empty. This pattern led to the question, how should ports manage ship traffic throughout the year? Enter Agner Krarp Erlang, a Danish mathematician who found inspiration in this problem. Born on January 1, 1878, Erlang studied mathematics at the University of Copenhagen and joined the Central Telephone Company in 1908. In 1909, he published The Theory of Probabilities and Telephone Conversations, introducing the Erlang distribution, a key concept in queuing theory. His work laid the foundation for modern traffic engineering and is now widely used in telephone systems and other fields. Erlang's insights into managing traffic and waiting times came from analyzing real-world problems and finding innovative solutions. His contributions show how addressing practical issues can lead to significant advancements. Now, let's talk about how war can drive technological advancement. World War II brought significant changes, particularly with the use of airplanes and the development of radar and anti-aircraft systems. The need to detect and intercept enemy aircraft led to the creation of radar technology and advances in signal processing, communication, estimation, detection, filtering, and servo mechanisms. This innovation came from both the U.S. with Norbert Wiener and Russia with Andrei Kolmogorov. These advancements have since given rise to a vast field of research, producing thousands of PhDs, tens of thousands of papers, and major companies worth billions of dollars. The impact of wartime research has shaped modern technology in profound ways. Now, let's discuss persistence and how retrying can lead to breakthroughs. In the 1940s, the idea of neural cells or circuits was abandoned because it couldn't solve even basic problems like the Yexuar gate. Warren Sturgis McCulloch's pioneering work, including a logical calculus of the ideas imminent in nervous activity, 1943, and How We Know Universals, the perception of auditory and visual forms, 1947, was initially met with skepticism. However, the fundamental ideas from this work were revisited in the 1980s, leading to the development of modern neural networks. This revival transformed neural networks into a powerful approach for evolutionary computing. By the 2000s, neural networks had evolved into an established domain known as soft computing, with diverse applications across industries. Persistence in refining and revisiting old ideas can lead to groundbreaking advancements. Now let's talk about passion. Two incredible examples of passion in research are Albert Einstein and Srinivasa Ramanujan. Both started their careers as clerks, Einstein at the Swiss Patent Office and Ramanujan at the Port Trust Office in India. Despite having very little formal support or resources, both made extraordinary contributions to science. Einstein's remarkable theories of relativity revolutionized our understanding of space and time. Interestingly, once he joined the university, his contributions slowed down. On the other hand, Ramanujan's work was largely done outside the academic establishment. Unfortunately, he passed away young, but his impact on mathematics remains profound. These two clerks showed that sheer passion and dedication can lead to groundbreaking discoveries, no matter where you start. One of the most brilliant examples in the world of research is Claude Shannon. Often hailed as the father of modern information theory, Shannon's contributions have profoundly transformed communication technology. Shannon's work in digital logic laid the groundwork for the development of digital circuits and switching functions. He introduced the sampling theorem, which is fundamental to signal processing. But his most famous contribution is the mathematical theory of communication, which gave rise to the field of information theory. Shannon's theories on coding signals and information shifted communication technology from being merely a technological innovation to becoming a crucial part of infrastructure and, ultimately, a basic human need. His insights have shaped how we understand and manage data in the digital age. Claude Shannon's brilliance didn't just advance a field. 
It revolutionized how we connect and communicate in the modern world. Let's explore the impact of maturity and insight in research with a prime example, Tony Hoare. A British linguist turned computer scientist, Hoare's diverse background uniquely positioned him to make profound contributions to the field of computer science. Hoare's deep understanding of English grammar, ancient Greek, statistics, and linguistics provided him with a broad perspective. This rich knowledge base led him to create and structure one of the most famous and useful computer algorithms, Quicksort. Quicksort, inspired by lexical ordering in English grammar, is a highly efficient sorting algorithm that has become a cornerstone in computer science. In addition to Quicksort, Hoare made significant contributions to programming languages. He played a key role in designing and implementing Algol 60, which is considered a pioneering language in the realm of object-oriented programming, even as early as 1960. Hoare is also known for his work in concurrent programming, having originated communicating sequential processes, which is a formal language for describing patterns of interaction in concurrent systems. Tony Hoare's mature and insightful approach to computer science has left a lasting impact demonstrating how a deep and diverse knowledge base can lead to groundbreaking advancements. Let's explore creativity in research through the remarkable story of Bernard Riemann. Bernard Riemann is best known for discovering and constructing Riemannian geometry, a revolutionary concept that was not previously known. His work went beyond the limits of Euclidean geometry, challenging the mathematical norms of his time. In 1854, Riemann delivered his first lecture on this new geometry at Göttingen. Despite facing significant challenges, including a failed attempt to be promoted to extraordinary professor in 1857. In 1859, he was appointed as a professor and head of the mathematics department, succeeding the renowned mathematician Dirichlet. Unfortunately, Riemann's life was cut short when he died of tuberculosis in 1866. Riemann's approach demonstrates how venturing beyond the known can lead to extraordinary discoveries. By exploring what was not yet understood, he created a new framework that transformed mathematics. His work illustrates the power of creativity and how a good guide can inspire you to explore the unknown. If you're challenged to question what isn't known, you might uncover something truly revolutionary. Now let's delve into the story of John von Neumann. A prime example of how diversity in interests and expertise can lead to groundbreaking contributions across various fields. John von Neumann, born on December 28, 1903, and passing away on February 8, 1957, was a mathematical prodigy whose work spanned an astonishing range of disciplines. He designed the first digital computer and played a crucial role in managing the development of the first atomic bomb. His work extended into Monte Carlo simulations, logic, optimization, and various branches of mathematics. Von Neumann's contributions include axiomatic set theory, geometry, measure theory, ergodic theory, operator theory, lattice theory, and game theory. He made significant advances in quantum mechanics, quantum logic, mathematical economics, and linear programming. His diverse expertise also touched upon computer science, mathematical statistics, nuclear weapons development, fluid dynamics, and weather systems. Von Neumann's versatility and innovative thinking had a profound impact on numerous scientific and technological fields. Von Neumann's career exemplifies how a broad range of interests and knowledge can drive progress and solve complex problems across multiple domains. His legacy continues to inspire interdisciplinary research and development. So, what can we as ordinary mortals, take away from all these examples and insights. What actions can we realistically take? First, it's important not to give up. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it might seem easier to avoid the challenge. But remember, many people have navigated similar paths successfully. You might face struggles, and you might even feel like making your guide struggle alongside you. It's okay to feel frustrated and angry, but use those emotions constructively. Avoid the temptation to blame others, whether it's your guide, your university, your family, or even your own DNA. Blaming others won't move you forward. Instead of looking for shortcuts or external fixes, focus on the facts and guidelines that can help you succeed. Here are some reassuring facts and general guidelines to guide you. 
Many people have completed their PhDs in the past. Many are doing so now, and many will continue to do so in the future. Traditional research areas may seem saturated, but there is still a need for hard, qualitative results. New areas of research might offer easier results, but require you to learn new concepts and techniques. The greatest scope often lies in practical implementation-type work, though it comes with its own set of challenges. Here are some general guidelines to keep in mind. 1. Have faith in yourself and in others, including your guide. 2. Own up to the process, no matter how challenging it seems. 3. Focus on practicality and functionality rather than grand ambitions. 4. Take responsibility and avoid blaming anyone except yourself and after your PhD, perhaps your guide. 5. Understand that success often involves effort, pain, torture, fun, and learning. 6. Organize your time effectively. Consider giving up less productive activities. The current state of research is complex and often expensive, with significant barriers. However, understanding these challenges can help you navigate them more effectively. Every great achievement begins with perseverance and a willingness to confront challenges. Embrace the struggle, learn from it, and keep moving forward. In conclusion, research is a rewarding and fulfilling endeavor. Here's why you should embrace it. Research is fun. Don't miss the chance to explore new ideas and make discoveries. It's an exciting and dynamic field. Improves understanding. It enhances your knowledge, the subject you study, and benefits others if done well. Opens opportunities. Even if things don't go as planned, research can lead to roles like head of department, principal, or vice chancellor. Teaching research combination. The future lies in combining teaching with research, creating a holistic approach to education. Interdisciplinary research. There's increasing value in interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary research areas. Working with people and technology. Engaging with scientific and technological advancements and their impact on the environment holds bright prospects. So, whether you're driven by curiosity, passion, or a desire to make a difference, remember that research is a journey filled with learning and growth. Embrace it with enthusiasm and persistence. That wraps up our exploration of identifying and navigating research challenges. If you found this video insightful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Amazing Physics. Hey.